one. Four one. Game over. Jordy Dread TV, West Ham 1, Newcastle United 5. They got an absolute hammering, no pun intended. I witnessed a beautiful performance by Newcastle. Yes, West Ham. Poor defending, atrocious defending, mistakes. Never seen a stadium get so empty so quick. All 10, 12 minutes before the end of the game. It was literally empty. Just us fans there. We were there cheering from minute one to the end. I was there doing my little bits and bobs. The team lineup. Joe Linton came in for Willock. Isaac to the bench. Probably rested. Wilson started. Continuing his goal scoring spree, got his two goals. To be honest, West Ham were okay going forward, but as I said, mistakes. Worse than schoolboy defending. It was crazy. Didn't expect that. Nervous before the game. I would have took a draw, but we batted them. Well, not batted them. We just good performance and they were poor. Happy for Wilson again, got his goals. Joe Linton, he got his two goals. Isaac, couldn't get an easier goal all season. 5-1, game done. Beautiful atmosphere. The West Ham fans were quiet. Had us fans taunting them from left to right. Beautiful game. The question is, do you not think, are we getting closer to that dream of Champions League? Are we Champions League elect? Four wins in a row. Can't complain. You can't blow it now. There is no reason to blow it. If you have to get a draw again or one loss in there from now to the end of the season, so be it. But you just have to keep on winning. And why can't we finish third? To definitely cement that full, not full spot, to cement that Champions League place. Absolutely loving this season. Been going through all this hurt for how many years? Eddie, gotta give him credit again. People chat about money and this and that. It's the coaching. The way he's like, we haven't even, Miggy's injured, but we've got other players in there. Got a decent bench. Gordon came on, did well. He did his, he did his bit. Obviously, Isaac came on. I thought St. Maxi had a good game as well. Everyone. Their goal, I'm not gonna lie, when they came back 2 1 just before the half time, and I witnessed that close and personal, I thought, oh, I thought, nerves, nerves, can we hold it? Less than 30 seconds into the second half, half the Newcastle fans wasn't even back from the beverage section, section yet. 25 seconds in, don't know what the keeper or a girl is doing. Murphy steals it, kept his composure, wasn't greedy. Slotted into Wilson, easy, 3-1, for me, the game was done. But 5-1, I don't know how the West Ham fans feel, but I feel sick. They say sack Moyes, I don't see the point. Oh, there's only how many games, but eight games left for them. What's the point? Who's better than him right now? But you can't really just blame the manager. Like The players have to take responsibility. Because what I saw with my own eyes at that game, witnessed it. I, just couldn't, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was just looking at the West Ham fans like, you lot are pissed. You could go down. I don't think you will, but they could go down. But anyway, appreciate all the likes. Subscribe. Subscribe if you want to keep seeing my videos on the game, etc, etc. Really appreciate it. On to the next game, Brentford. That ain't going to be an easy one.
but we don't fear no one. Julie Dredd, peace.